And here we go. We are inside the bunker, guys. The bunker which supposedly contains weapons of mass destruction. Okay, chemical weapon storage and a bunch of stuff there. Bunker busters. Yeah, that's who you're gonna call. But anyway. Ooh, I hear something. Excellent, that was a really good grenade throw, even though, uh, well, it was mostly their fault, because they kind of... Wow. Whoops. <laughs> That's cool, dude. Let's get em! We already got them. But yes, they kind of just ran into the grenade by themselves, which is always nice, you know. But, uh, yeah, this game could have used a lot more uh, polishing. That's what I I would say. I mean, it's a good game. I I like it, but uh, it's definitely not a a very good game. It's uh, it has, uh, in my opinion, more more uh, good things or more uh, strong points than weak points. But uh, still, there are quite a lot of well done. thanks. There are quite a lot of bugs and. They never had a chance, man! Any signs of a bomb depot? Not yet. We'll go this way. Let's get it done and get the hell out of here. All right, then. Yeah, for example, uh, the game runs best in uh, 720p, which is this resolution which I'm currently using. And uh, anything above that, and it starts to um, run into problems. I don't mean uh, it uh, runs slower or, or anything like that, but... It's just that the game was designed. Pierce, we're wasting valuable time. It was designed to run in 720p. Okay. Ready. Tango For example, all the loading screens are in 720p. If you use a high resolution, then uh, you will get black bars around the loading screens. Did she just throw a grenade? No. <laughs> okay. On my way. And also, yeah, another uh, clue that uh, this game was rushed is the absence of uh, graphical settings. I mean, yes, there are some graphical settings in the sense that you can uh, set, for example, uh, some filtering, anisotropic filtering, or... Yeah, I think that's what it's called. Or you can change the resolution, but uh, every time you restart the game, the resolution gets reset back to 720p, which I don't really understand, but uh, yeah, there you go. But other than that, you can't really change the graphical settings. I mean, uh, you know, you can't change the the texture resolution or uh, stuff like that, which are quite common in most games. And so far, so good. Come on! I'm gonna order these guys to open this door up. Let's check it out. <laughs> oh yeah, like that's gonna work. Opening this huge metal door with just a flamethrower or well, not a flamethrower, but you know what I mean. <laughs> well that was unexpected. Wouldn't you say so guys? I would definitely say so. Okay. You guys see anything? That's a negative, you? Just cobwebs. No weapons of mass. Mass destructions. Or destruction. But check this out, guys. Well, that wasn't exactly what I wanted to do. Neither was that. You see, some of these uh, containers will uh, 
will not blow up instantly. They will just make a whistling sound like uh, fireworks, and then after a couple of seconds, they will, they will blow up. Anyway, get uh, get this thing going. Uh, Okay. Here we go, guys. Damn it. Ooh. So this, in my opinion, is a fun shooter as long as... See, those guys are getting back up. Yeah, this is a fun shooter as long as you don't uh, have too high exp expectations of it. And... As long as you uh, don't pay the full launch price, because uh, it's definitely not worth the full launch price. I got this, uh, well, for very cheap, and for the price I, I paid, uh, it's definitely worth it. Okay. Let's go. Come on. So if you just wanna wanna shoot at stuff and uh, you don't care too much about the story or uh, too much about uh, some minor bugs or or some of the bugs are quite major, but uh, well, the game is playable. That's the important thing. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. What the hell is that? It's her butt. Oh, that. Okay. It's some sort of, uh, I don't know, rock, crystal. And of course, the first thing we try to do is destroy it. Isn't that what anybody would try to do? A frozen keyboard? There's nothing we can do on it. Hey. Take a picture of me under. Oh man! What did you do? I I, I didn't do anything. Happening? I was just trying to pose for a picture, and then all of a sudden, I saw a flash of an alien or something. This is down. We have to get out of here <coughs> now. I've got I've got Pierce. Open the blast doors. Hurry. Oh man. I'm okay. Summers, behind you. Come on. Come on, cool dude. Get out of there. Pierce, we have to keep them contained. No. What are you doing, woman? No! Open the door. Yeah, and it's all because of you. Open the damn door. Damn it. <laughs> you just stay there and open the door now, but yeah. There's nothing we could we could have done for that guy. Okay, come on. Let's see if we are going to uh, meet a new enemy around here. Oh yes. New enemy. Now these guys are perfect for increasing the morale of your squad. They explode when they jump onto you, so they're kind of a suicidal uh, spider type of enemy. And as you can see, our squad morale, which, well, our squad at the moment is only a uh, cool chick, or, well, hot chick. Uh, our squad morale is going up. And the reason uh, the squad morale can go up pretty fast when you uh, encounter these little uh, spiders is because once, uh, if they're clogged together like that, if you blow one up, then uh, it will blow up the other ones around it as well. So that will basically mean that uh, you have destroyed multiple enemies and thus increase your squad's morale. Yes, it's definitely... Uh, a good way to increase your squad morale, so uh, use these guys. Whoa, 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 as long as they don't jump onto you and explode in your face, that is. Whew. Okay, then. 
Yes, that's one downside. Two or three of, of those guys and uh, we're going down. But right now we have to go up. We have to go back up to the surface. Although this path seems to take us down. And uh, these guys also, uh, yeah, they uh, can be killed quite easily. They only take a couple of bullets. Another one of those little things. But I'm running low on ammo. And that's obviously a problem. So let's try a grenade as well as blowing these guys up with the help of those mechanical spiders. But my question is, what were these people doing here? What kind of experiments, what kind of things are happening here in this bunker? I mean, it's obvious that uh, there's some sort of... Uh, I don't know. Something quite wrong. So to speak. Okay. Destroy. No one's coming. Okay then. Then open this thing up. Uh, enemies will. Yeah, enemies will probably pop up as soon as she. Uh, yeah, there we go. Get that thing. No. Grab. Is she down? Yeah, she's down. And even though, even though she's down, the squad morale is high. No more bullets. Okay, I'm I'm relying on these guys, on these bozos, to help me out. And now we have to wait for our squad mate to get back up. The, the squad mates will get back up after uh, a few seconds or about a minute or so. Okay. I tried to go back after him. You supposed to be our medic? Nice work keeping Summers alive. He was a soldier. He knew the risks involved. Command, this is Echo. We're outside the bunker. No chlorine weapons located. I say again, no bombs. Ooh. Echo, we're inbound for extraction. We're coming to get you, so sit tight. Okay, but I really need some ammo now. And this is a new weapon. Uh, well, an RPG launcher, I guess. Rocket propelled grenade, that is. Hmm. Holy shit! Oh man, oh man, oh man! What the hell is that? Get it! Tear it up! No! Move it! I like to move it, move it! Especially when I'm getting blown up by, by that thing. Okay. Let's try this again. This time... This time I have some bullets. I don't know how, but, uh, well, I'm not complaining. Okay, this is going to be useful. Oh, yeah. New team member. We gotta give you a nickname, Mr. Guy. Okay, you're going to be bald dude with a mustache and, well, with a goatee. <laughs> okay, bald dude it is, then. Or bald guy or bald man. And... Let's witness this. Oh my goodness. Yes, with these creatures, you have to hit their head, or shoot at its head, and also make sure you uh, destroy those uh, little things it launches at you from uh, from its mouth. A mutational effect? Have you lost your mind? Be advised, Eagle. Bunker is hot. Hazmat teams only. Copy that. We are equipped. Good job, Echo. Nicely done. Thanks. Colonel, one man KIA. Say again. One man KIA. Damn it. Hold your position, Echo. We're coming in. All right, then. Yeah. Another interesting little thing. Which I didn't get to show you. 